the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome, everyone, to episode 166 of The Daily Mother Swole. I am your host, Dash Kellner, a.k.a. Papa Swoleo Normus. This is <laughs> Shitty Hearts. This is episode 166. It's titled, Stop Training Mirror Muscles. Stop Training Mirror Muscles. Minimizing a screen. The play-by-play, so you can see those blazing eagles behind me on, um, on YouTube. So a reminder for anyone that's joining me live for the first time, this episode 166, live on Facebook, Periscope, and Busker. So it's a triple live broadcast every day at 12 noon Eastern time. Also, if you want to catch a previous episode and you want to see the beard and the hair in action for all those episodes, YouTube at Solnormous. So YouTube at Solnormous, almost just under 600 videos, just under, just under 600 videos on YouTube and posting at least probably one, two, or three a day. You can also follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Instagram has a lot of preview videos. Uh, You can communicate with me through any of those platforms. And let's say you don't like my face, you're not into all this ish right here, you can catch this as a podcast on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Stitcher. So every single episode is on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitchers. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. The hustle is fucking real. So this is a standing desk, by the way. Right now I'm standing up and I do have a standing desk, which, you know, it sounded like a good idea when I made it standing. I'm like, well, I'm going to be at my computer a lot. I don't want to be sitting down in one spot. Now I'm just standing in one spot all the time. So I'm like constantly moving around. But if you haven't tried a standing desk, it's a lot better for your hips. It keeps you more mobile. I'll walk around a lot more in general, instead of just getting up and walking around, I'll go into the kitchen more, I'll walk around the room more, just because I'm vertical, so if anyone's wondering what this setup is all about, you can also find it, I, I posted during my vlog series, uh, The Swole Motion, on my YouTube channel, so you'll see a lot of behind the scenes if you follow my vloggy, vloggy, vloggy. So that being said, let's get into the show. Stop training mirror muscles. Stop training mirror muscles. You really got to stop training mirror muscles. And right when I posted, right when I went online, I had three or four people on Periscope Busker. What are mirror muscles? Well, if you're large enough, it's every single muscle because you're so huge. You're freaking 3D in 360, live 365, and you could see yourself at any angle all the time. Now, if you're an average human, you're not a demigod like myself, mirror muscles are the ones you could see in the mirror. Just kidding, just kidding. I don't have that much of an ego. Mirror muscle where you can see in the mirror. That is the chest, that's the anterior deltoid, that's the abs, that's the quads. Everything that you can casually and commonly see in the mirror, obviously, because you're not, unless you're a fucking owl, you're not spinning your head around and looking behind you. This is more important than you think because since we only work to the front, those muscles get worked a lot. Obviously, you're not driving, you know, like the fucking exorcist, you know, grabbing the steering wheel behind you like like a fucking pterodactyl. You're doing everything to the front. That's why people are rounded, are, you know, all hunched over, you know, Quasimodo style. So those muscles in the front get too tight and it's like a seesaw. So before I get more into the detail and kind of jump into this a little bit more, if you're just joining me for the first time, the body, the way the joints work is it's like a seesaw. The joints are like a seesaw. There's usually a front, a back, a left, and a right, and there's a balance, right? Kind of like a gyroscope, you know? Or if anyone does photography and you know you have a tripod and you have that little bubble and you try to get it balanced, that's where the body is. Every joint has a certain balance. Doesn't mean you have the same size muscle on both sides of the joint. Doesn't mean you have the same length or resting length of each muscle. It just means that every joint has a balance between those opposing muscle groups, inside, outside, front, and back, that optimally should have. And that's the problem why people have a lot of chronic back pain, chronic knee pain, or hamstring injuries, neck pain, shoulder pain, is because these balances that should be from moving around naturally since we're babies, which we don't, video games, computers, cars, were imbalanced as opposed to being more mobile, And it creates problems in the body that come out as chronic pain or acute injuries as a result of those imbalances. So that is really the the shit of it. And that's why people have chronic injuries or chronic pain for the most part. You're not as active as you think you are. And you're not working the same, the right muscles that you think you are. Chronic inflammation. There's a lot of different 
issues from these types of things. A lot of you might not realize that if you have chronic neck pain, it could be from a sprained ankle that you sprained 10, 15 years ago. Your body is like the game Jenga. When you take one piece out, everything else has to rebalance. I'm not going to get into the details of the ankle injury and neck pain. That could be for another daily swell. It could be for another another problem, uh, another another episode, because that's really important when people have injuries, how they recover from their injuries, that in order to avoid future pain and future issues, because that's very common. To have an injury, you heal, you get better, and then down the line, you have other problems because you didn't rehab that injury properly and rebalance the body properly. So again, if you're just joining me now, Triple Live Broadcast, Facebook, Periscope, Busker, YouTube, all at Swolnormous, and also SoundCloud, iTunes, and Stitcher. And remember, if you're watching this, if I say something that you're like, oh, shit, that's great information, or I like that, or you're kind of nodding in your head or you know, out loud, make sure you hit the heart button, like, subscribe, uh, show me some support. And also, if you haven't, uh, leave a review on iTunes and a like on SoundCloud or YouTube. Much appreciated if you, um, if you can. Uh, I, on Busker Lost Audio, I would have to say, is, is anyone else have audio issues right now? Anyone else having audio issues? I think, um, I would assume more people would talk. I mean, it could just be, no, no issues on Periscope. Just so everyone knows, I try to do a triple live broadcast. Sometimes Facebook gets glitchy. Everyone knows that Facebook Live is glitchy. Uh, Busker sometimes can, I guess, have an issue. I mean, it depends on whose end or how you're connecting, but Periscope is usually crisp and consistent. So that usually takes the least amount of memory. That takes the least amount of space on the phone. Uh, Facebook Live is very intensive, so sometimes that can cut out for whatever reason. But Periscope is always consistent. So if you would like to, Periscope at Swolnormous, that is where if I can only broadcast on one platform, let's say I'm doing the Daily Swole on the Road, Periscope is going to be always, always my primary. If everything goes out, I can only choose one. It's always going to be Periscope. So make sure that you follow me there. If you have any issues with the platform of Busker or Facebook Live, just jump on Periscope because that is the one that I'm going to um, stay on. And also, you know, if it conks out completely, I'm still going to roll, still going to record. You can get the podcast and the YouTube. You're going to get the Daily Swole somewhere. You'll never be without. You'll never be without the Swole. I promise. Okay? So don't cry. Don't worry. I'll be here. Mirror muscles, I just listed them off. Chest, abs, and quads. Those are the main ones I'm going to talk about. The weak ones, if your chest is too tight, if you're working your chest and you're kind of rounded and hunched over, that means that your rhomboids, your middle trapezius, the muscles between your shoulder blades, and also your posterior rotator cuff, the muscles that rotate your shoulders out to the sides, are going to be weak and underactive. This can be dangerous because you lose shoulder stability and you're at risk for a shoulder injury. Makes sense. A lot of people have shoulder injuries. That's a very common place to have an injury. Also, your abs, your six-pack, your rectus abdominis. Most people will go do crunches because they want to see in the mirror. They want to see the abs. First off, you can't spot reduce fat. And secondly, if you're working your abs a lot, chances are your core is weak. Now, I did a core talk the other day. Core is from your pelvis all the way to your cervical spine. And the most important core muscles are ones inside, deep inside the body, that you can't see. So if you're doing crunches until you pass out, you could still have a lot of back pain and you could actually be weakening your core because you are doing too much movement and not enough stabilization work. So planks, hip bridges, uh, doing the drawing in maneuver with the abdominals, things like the planks or the ab roller or rolling planks or dynamic planks and leg raises and reverse crunches. Those are more effective. You could find those on my exercise video list on YouTube and stay tuned for that. There's going to be a lot more of those voiceover videos coming up in the next few weeks, so stay tuned on my YouTube channel. Those exercise videos and the descriptions are going to get a lot more, I would say, intellect. Yeah, intellectual. I'm going to break down a lot more exercise on there, so kudos to me and kudos to you for liking it. It's going to be pretty sweet, so stay tuned for all these exercises I'm talking about. There's going to be more videos on there, so that'll be the tits. And with the quads. Most of us are sitting down all the time. The hips get very stiff. The glutes get weak. And I always talk about the glutes, supine hip bridges, single leg squats, the lateral tube walking, as in my last exercise video on YouTube. Those are the ones that need to be activated. And you can't see those. I mean, if you're a chick on Instagram, yeah, you can see the glutes because you're always you know, looking back at it, doing that one leg back, that side ass shot, where a freaking lizard would have a nice ass if they did that pose. So stupid. You have these chicks like, you know, legs for days or booty for days. 
they weigh like 110 pounds. They have no ass, but because they're contracting their butt fat from that angle, all of a sudden they look amazing. You're like, oh, look at my butt. You don't have a butt. It's called a hip bone. <laughs> you don't have an ass. Plus, you're 17, so don't act like you fucking work for it. Wow, that went off the rails a little bit, didn't it? Okay, so mirror muscles. If you want, if you're training your mirror muscles, and I tell you to stop training your mirror, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying, all right, let's back it up. I'm not saying never train your mirror muscles because you need to work your chest, you need to work your abs, that's great, and uh, anterior deltoid and quads, that's all great. But if you want to look good, and that's aesthetically good, if you want to look balanced, you need to start working those opposing muscles, okay? It's the front of the body, it's less than half the body. Your chest is only really like a third of your upper body. What about your back? What about your spinal erectors and your lats all the way up? It's your entire posterior. And your glutes, huge muscles, hamstrings, calves, those are all massive muscles that are going to make you look 3D and make you look aesthetically more pleasing. And again, that's subjective. That's opinion. But most of us have the same kind of ideal physique, that Adonis physique and that you know Michelangelo's David, even proportions idea. It doesn't mean you have to be 300 pounds shredded. It just means that you should work everything evenly. And of course, genetics is going to play a role. I'm not saying that don't be happy with what you have, but you should work everything evenly just from a strength component, a strength aspect. So everything's balanced around the joints. So you don't have any, you know, physical injuries and problems from that. It's just not worth it. If you're going to the gym, work it evenly. So you have balance and you decrease your risk of injury. Why risk hurting yourself? Uh, you know, it's like guys just working their upper body, not working legs. It's atrocious. It looks freaking weird. And I was like, why would you not work your legs? Okay, it hurts. I don't like legs. Well, you know, there's a lot of things that I don't like, but you do them anyway. Especially in the gym, you learn to like it, learn to love it, learn to prioritize it, and you'll, it'll pay off in the long run. So if you're only working mirror muscles, it's going to lead to injury too, or it could potentially lead to injury. So you're increasing your risk of injury, which is pretty much almost guaranteeing an injury at some point. You can withstand injury to an extent when you're 20s and 30s, but as you get older, you get more stiff and that risk just dramatically exponentially increases because of your age and the brittleness of your tendons and ligaments increases and you just get more and more stiff and you know your body just starts to degenerate over time. Lifting and fitness and eating healthy slows that degeneration, but it's going to happen to all of us. We slowly decompose until we die. So you can limit that by creating balance and decreasing tension decreasing micro tears, doing more yoga, doing more massage and recovery and, you know, taking care of your body. So creating that balance. If you want strength, there's that ego aspect of it too, from male males and females alike. If you want proper strength, you need proper alignment of the joints and proper lengths of the muscle. If you have an imbalance of muscles around the joints, like you're training mirror muscles and you're ignoring the ones in the back, you're going to have an disproportionate tension around the joints and certain muscles that are starting off at a shorter position and certain ones that are starting off at a, le a more lengthy position. And that's going to affect the ability of those joints and the muscles to synergistically create force and to create strength. So if you don't have a proper balance between those muscles around the joint, you are going to affect your strength production, which is can it, which will in turn affect your ability to produce muscle mass because strength has relations to muscle size to a point. It's not exactly the same thing, but it's a component. Strength is a component of muscle hypertrophy. So if that's important to you, muscle size and strength, then guess what? Balance. That's why yoga is important, even for getting big. And you might see these professional bodybuilders doing splits on the stage. Yeah, they're flexible because they stretch and they understand the importance of massage and recovery techniques for the muscles. That's why they've gotten so far because they don't ignore stretching. They don't ignore flexibility. If you want to look like Quasimodo, that's fine. You want to look hunched over. It's going to be harder and harder to fix these things as you get older. That is why instead of breaking down every single corrective exercise that no one's going to fucking do, and I waste my time and I waste your time, I tell you to do yoga. I tell you to do yoga because doing yoga is the easiest, most blanket way to accomplish all of these goals and create balance. You need to strength train evenly throughout the entire body, yes. If you need to correct a lot of things, yoga will help you mentally and physically to create more balance. And I've been on a big yoga kick because a lot of you know that follow my material that might be in premium, uh, my premium Facebook group, which you could check out at smallnormous.com and sign up for, private training group. Those of you that are there, you know that I'm into the yoga. 
I mean, I teach it and you know, I'm into yoga anyway, but I've been prioritizing that more in my own personal fitness. It's already making a big difference. I can't wait for another couple of weeks uh, for that compounded benefit. And I've been talking a lot about it lately because of that. And it's just more and more important. And I'm not trying to be a messiah. I'm not trying to, but I'm trying to spread the word and spread the awareness because I am a muscular dude that does yoga, that teaches yoga. And a lot of guys still resist it or they just don't get into it. They don't prioritize it. They don't see it as important as it is. And I guess I am, I'm just, I guess I'm a little bit, I mean, I'm not the first guy to do yoga. That's for damn sure. But I'm ahead of my time still preaching yoga so much, but I've been doing it for years. I've been promoting it and talking about it for years. Literally, if you want to correct these issues, you want to fix these mirror muscles, reduce tension, create more balance, more strength, recovery, better mental health, you got to do yoga. Just do it. Find a class that you like. Find a flow that you like. Try different types of yoga. There's many different kinds. There's different kinds of vegetables, different kinds of beef. There's different ways to cut and cook each type of food. Same thing with yoga. There's different instructors. There's different classes, different class lengths. There's hot. There's warm. There's regular, unheated. There's faster flows, there's power flows, there's Raja or Yin style, you know, gravitational stretching flows, there's breathing techniques, there's meditative classes, there's, there's so many different types of yoga. So try one, find one that you like, and then stick to it, and then stick to it. I'll stay for a few minutes after on Periscope. Thank you for joining me for episode 166. I'll see you tomorrow for episode 167. Remember, triple live broadcast every day, Facebook, Periscope, and Busker at Swolnormous, YouTube at Swolnormous. Where's my YouTube card? If you're just joining me for the first time, make sure you go like my videos, subscribe. I just posted a couple new ones, posted a brand new driving while gaining called Don't Go Chasing Chest Waterfalls, a little throwback to TLC action. So make sure you are checking out my material. And if you like the videos, hey, don't be hiding in the corner. Give it a thumbs up. If you watch it, you like it, that's great. All it takes, a little click on the thumb, and then it shows me that people are really not only watching it, they're liking the video and you know they want to see more of it. So if you like anything that I do, subscribe, like, leave a comment, say, hey, this video was great. It means a lot to me. I appreciate it. It takes a lot of effort to put all this stuff out. I'm not going to lie. I enjoy doing it. So I don't need you to like it for me to keep doing it. However, I do want to know what you do like, and I do want to be putting out content and things that you enjoy and that you see benefit from. So if you do, let me know. I appreciate it. You can follow me on Snapchat, on Instagram, ask me questions if you got them. Anything else? Let's get into that ish tomorrow. Manana. If you want to see a funny snap story, check out my Snapchat today. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, talked a little bit about myself, my education, my history, and a bunch of my friends showed up pumping up the Daily Soul and all my materials. So check that out, Snapchat at Soul Normus. For all the rest of you, Myron the Gains Live. If you're on SoundCloud, iTunes, or Stitcher, you are currently hearing me grow and hearing me flex. How does that feel in your ear holes? You like that shit? I fucking know you do. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. That's why you, that's why you, that's why you follow the Papa Swole. I'll see you tomorrow for episode 167 of The Daily Mother Swole. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your hump day. And let's fucking get it. Peace. Peace.